Good morning, everybody. Busy Dad here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. It's November. Can't believe it. So today is November 3rd. So today is a really overcast day, and there's even a slight chance of rain. Initially, I was going to go to another spot where I have to hike a little bit, but uh, they said that because there's a chance of rain, <clears throat> in case there's lightning and stuff, I didn't want to hike back to the car holding my fishing poles, so or lightning rods as people call them. But uh, so I'm back at Special Events Beach and uh, I am gonna just go out there, fish <coughs> casually. And uh, if it rains, great. I think we our state needs it, so I'll take one for the team. But uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, hook up some fish and just have some fun. And uh, again, ultimately, the goal is to just have fun, right? Be out in nature. And if you hook up some fish, great. That's just added bonus. But so let's see uh, if we can uh, hook up some fish or not. So stick around. So I just got uh, to Special Events Beach and uh, and I have two poles with out both of them with uh, frozen anchovies. It's my same usual setup with a Carolina rig with two hooks on each line with a half of uh, anchovy on each hook. And uh, <laughs> so I brought a couple new things like I'm testing out this new wireless microphone and uh, it's set up to the camera that you can't see and I also have my other GoPro um, that I typically use for more close-up shots but uh, as soon as I turned it on it said no SD card so apparently I forgot to take it out of the computer when I was downloading my uh, other footage so uh, you're only gonna have one camera today so right now it's uh, 6 45 a.m. we just uh, the time changed to uh, this morning at 2 a.m. so and uh, like I said we only have one camera so I'm gonna bring this camera closer to my seat and then um, and hopefully we'll be able to hook up some fish just the fact that you're hearing this uh, means I probably caught something so stick around Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, uh, again, it's a uh,
Okay, as I was doing the intro, we hooked up to our first fish. So he's not very big, but uh, it's a striper. Well, let's uh, see if we can get a weight on this guy too. It's a one pound, 13 ounces, so almost two pound. So first fish for the day, nice striper. Well, let's get him released. Okay, and off he goes. Well, what do you know? I was doing the intro, we hooked up to the first fish, so awesome. Yes, that's a great way to start, so. So now it's probably in the near 60. So temperature wise, it's not that cold, but compared to from where we came from, close to, you know, being well above 90 and everything, it does, some people might feel a little chilly, but, uh, Again, and today is overcast, so the sun's behind the clouds. And I also did bring my uh, little folding table and uh, my little portable stove. So, uh, so I was gonna make coffee, but I have a feeling if I bring everything out and set up, as soon as I do, it's gonna start pouring rain. And if I don't, it won't, so. I'm just trying to wait to see clouds over there. It's pretty dark. It, you know, here comes the rain. So I'm going to put some of my stuff under the car. The wind picked up a little, so I brought my hoodie. I keep forgetting I have the wireless mic, so uh, I just have to adjust it. He's still on. I'm not sure if he's still on. I kind of feel something. He's just trying to, he got wrapped around something, but I think he came off. Yeah, he's still on there. It's 
still have no idea what it is. Come here, bud. Easy. You gotta land this fish. It's a catfish. It's not that big, but... Okay, we got our second fish. Let's let's get a weight on this per, so on. So this one's two pounds, thirteen ounces, so almost three pounds. It's a nice uh, small but real fat catfish, so we'll just get a quick photo. And let's get her released. And off she goes. Thanks for biting, buddy. As you can see, the clouds are just covered. The sun's behind here, so it's uh, you can't see anything, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. So hopefully as these clouds get pushed away, hopefully the weather will improve. And uh, I don't mind the rain, actually. It's uh, the wind that's more problematic. Uh, what happens is, uh, it creates all these waves and current and then all these weeds will get pushed in with the waves and then it'll get tangled on the line as well as on your hooks and your bait and uh, just makes fishing more challenging but but from experience I know when the conditions not perfect I don't know I seem to do better fishing so Maybe the fish like it too, so we'll see. Oh shit. I was just setting up to get some coffee and sure enough, like another catfish it's a little bit a little smaller guy oops
Okay. So second fish, a third fish, second catfish. Now let's release them. Going the other way. Okay, off he goes. Okay, we got two catfish, one striper. Now I need some coffee. <laughs> Cheers everybody. And I got that little setup uh, through AliExpress, the little folding table, as well as the little stove. Well, that is going to do it from this episode of Busy Dad Fishing. It sure was a windy day, but, uh, and it drizzled a little bit, but it didn't really affect me. We were able to hook up to three fish, the first striper and two catfish. So I'm really pleased. Um, also, um, I'm going to be testing out uh, once I get back. And uh, when I edit the video, I'll test out, see how that wireless microphone worked or not. I really, really appreciate all of you tuning in to my videos. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing and like, share, and comment. Until the next one, we'll tight lies to all of you. And uh, until I see you on the next video, take care. After fishing for a while, I decided to stop on the way back home at uh, Boulder Park to come and check out the bighorn sheep so 